they say the one one of the best ways to remove a band-aid is to just rip it off so i'm going to start today's video off in doing just that i'm taking back the 2000 gallon aquarium Over like over 10 years ago, I started building aquariums for freshwater stingrays, literally building big tanks just so I can keep freshwater stingrays. Heck, every big tank I did was either for a stingray or an Asian arowana. So imagine the excitement that I had when I came up with the idea one day, one morning, woke up and I thought, I'm gonna rip down my old dilapidated garage and I'm gonna put up a new building and dedicate it to an aquariums. And within it, I'm going to have a 2,000 gallon aquarium. That was the feature, that was the most exciting thing for me. Mind you, I also mentioned we'd have a bunch of other big tanks that we'd stock uh, every month and by the time we got to the last one, we could circle back to the first one and restock it, rescape it, just so we could continuously introduce each other to new fish and continue educating and inspiring you guys on different ideas and setups. And we did just that. And that started in March of 2017. The 2000 gallon aquarium took me three months to build. And after the third month, I believe it was like in, in like July, I think we started in April, May, June, July. Yeah, so three months, we added the stingrays into it finally. And that's where they stayed. That was their tank. I built that specifically for my Asian arowana and my freshwater stingrays, my three black diamond stingrays. I could never have imagined or even thought or planned that the gallery over the next three years would become what it did and uh, gain the popularity and the attention and inspire so many millions of people. I, but I always regretted one thing and that was simply, well, of course the obvious, we should have went bigger, but based on bylaws and restrictions, this is the biggest I'm, I, I'm able to go on this property. I wish I could have had you guys come here. So three years into the gallery, it was early 2020, like January, February-ish, I started planning out and going over the ideas of a public aquarium, but gallery hobbyist style. Mind you, I do everything myself, from the video, the planning, the editing, uh, building, everything I do myself. No help from anybody whatsoever. I do not recommend it. But I wanted to bring a bunch of pieces of the current gallery to the public. So I was able to purchase a 700 gallon aquarium from my uh, local fish store, One Fish, Two Fish in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Kind of local, it's an hour away. I'm in Toronto, Nova Scotia. But I thought, let's put the stingrays in there for like a year, get everybody used to seeing this tank and the rays, and then we'll bring it in public and you guys can come see these rays that you've watched grow for like the last six years, five, six years. What happened one year later, I announced the fact that we were doing a public aquarium. I found the location, everything was fantastic. Uh, signed the contracts, deposits, invested a lot of money into equipment and things that I was going to need. And all of that fell through. Of course, not from my, nothing on my part. We were three months in um, and due to some breaches in the contract, it set me back two years. I wasn't gonna stay in there for two years paying bills. Well, we can't even move anywhere, any uh, ahead in anything. Bottom line is I already made that video. Go ahead and watch it. I'm not gonna keep talking about it. But in the lead up to that, and in those three months, I was kind of consolidating everything. The rays were in the 700 and they were in there for a year. Uh, I started kind of systematically shutting down tanks and you guys seen that. You're like, Joey, you only have like four or five tanks running because I was taking all the fish and putting them in the 2000 gallon aquarium. What's easier, tearing down one tank or tearing down 15 tanks? I wanted to move the 40 gallon breeders there. I wanted to use the 120s and I, I wanted to do a bunch of things and all of a sudden nothing happened. Meanwhile, I'm stuck with the 2000 gallon aquarium. That is and was absolutely stunning, but we all know it was a mismatch and just a mix of, and a mash of random fish in there. And although awesome, I mean, you take a 2000 gallon tank, you put a lot of any type of fish in it, it's going to be pretty cool. But if I had to do that over, I certainly wouldn't have jammed all those different types of fish in there. Anyways, now that we're back to scratch, 
And, you know, back to the original aquarium gallery, I always felt like it's becoming less and less my hobby and I'm, I, I'm doing things that I, don't, I wouldn't typically want to do or do. And it makes it really hard to be excited about something that this wasn't the plan and now I have to pick up the pieces. So I've decided, I've decided to start over, not over, but like the 180s, those are cool. They're gonna stay. But the 2000 gallon aquarium, I want it back. I took out all the fish. They're all in a 120 and 180 right now, just for now. We're, they're not going anywhere. But the 2000 gallon aquarium is getting its stingrays back. So I drained the tank, took out all the decorations, removed all the fish, did a really good cleaning of it. And then if you guys remember with my bare bottom tanks that I've done for years upon years, but recently been buckling under the pressure to add in decorations with fish that don't require it, that only ends up killing them or damaging them or hurting them or causing issues. I'm just going to set it up the way I truly know what they need. And I decided we're gonna tile the tank first and foremost, cause the white is a little bit bright. So I did tile the tank with uh, porcelain tiles, cut them to size, whatever I need to do. Um, and the tank is now switched back over to freshwater stingrays. Now what's going to happen with that 700 gallon aquarium? Well, okay. So the members of the channel, the only fins don't ruin it for anybody else. They, they are weeks ahead. I'm not, I don't want to upset anybody for not knowing, but it's, it's probably going to be the best tank out here. Even the 2,000 two, gallon aquarium is my favorite. The 700 and what's going to happen to that is, it's different. And I can't wait to show you guys. And it's almost done. I'm way ahead. I know that the videos have been here and there and sparse, but um, I had to get everything out of the way. I had, I had to just pull this Band-Aid off and tell you guys, look, I'm taking the 2,000 gallon back. I'm putting the fish in it that was meant to be. The, pu the, the public aquarium never happened and that's why the 700 was bought. That's why I had it here for a year. I wanted it to store it at the store, but that's why it's here. That's why we put the rays in it. So we, then we could bring it all there eventually and you could see. Everything was consolidated in the 2,000. So I'm picking the pieces up and I'm putting them back exactly as I want them. And I think you guys are going to absolutely love it. It's, 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 there's too much to talk about. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna move the rays over and I'll show you everything else that's going on. Uh, and then we're probably gonna jump right into that 700. So if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, you wanna see that, highly suggest you do. You're gonna hear about it one way or the other. It is that awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.